Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be reading for Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. It's your February 2021 monthly reading. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Your current energy, energy of the person, people, situations surrounding you and the overall outcome for February. This is a general reading, guys. So, of course, if it doesn't resonate, that's okay. It may not be your story, but feel free to check out your other placements if you like. If you do enjoy the reading, don't forget to like and subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. Let's see what's going on for my Saggies. How are we doing in February, Saggies? Starting off with the judgment card there. Okay, so call to judgment for some reason or someone... You may have had to make a recent judgment call about something or maybe you feel um, compelled to change something in your life, to come to a sudden kind of realization about something. But something's going on here. Four of Cups, interesting. Okay, so we've got that energy of, of rejection here. Maybe it's, um, it's you finally deciding to take a step back from something. Maybe there's something that's been... Yeah, I feel like you've you've either recently said no to something, Sagis, or you will be in February. You will be. You're going to be pulling back your energy. You're going to be putting a little bit of a, a block on something. You're not going to be too receptive to something or someone anymore. Maybe you've had multiple offers come in. Maybe there's a choice to be made. This could be um, with regards to anything. With the cups energy here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, this could be to do with some kind of emotional or romantic connection. Maybe there's, um, maybe you've got a lot going on around you. Maybe there's multiple um, people that are offering you, um, offering you things, making offers, showing their interest, wanting to meet up with you, wanting to go out. And somehow you've reached a point, Sagis, where I feel that you're wanting something a little bit different. No, nothing is really quite um, leading, you know, living up to your expectations or meeting your expectations as to what you want from a person or want from a relationship. Yeah, so a couple, couple different um, stories here because a lot was coming through quickly just then. But so it's a little bit um, may sound a little bit confusing, but I think for some of you. There's actually a lot of opportunity around you, but you've reached a point where you're kind of sick of doing the same kind of thing. You're sick of going on these dates. It always kind of ends the same way. You're meeting people and nothing really sticks. Nothing really stands out to you as being someone who you could have a long-term connection with. And maybe you've reached a point where you've actually decided to pull back your energy a little bit, focus a little bit more on yourself. Um, because nothing seems quite satisfactory to you and you've had to make a little bit of a pass a little bit of a judgment or make a bit of a um, yeah make a bit of a judgment call in your life and figure out what it is that you actually want rather than saying yes all the time to all these opportunities that end up sort of wasting your energy wasting your time and not leading anywhere for others of you, this could be to do with a specific person. There's been some kind of a situation in a connection with an individual um, where you've had to, again, pull back your, your energy for some reason. It's like saying enough is enough. It's saying enough is enough. Maybe someone needs to get a clear message about your feelings and 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 the way you want the relationship to progress or the connection to progress. Maybe this person is just not... Um, listening to you and your wants and your needs and you're finding that you know what it's time to take a step back it's time to think about me and what I want and what's truly important to me and maybe the only way to get through to this person is to actually say no for once is to say no to this person interesting let's have a look at the energy um, surrounding you what's going on around my Sagis yeah we've got the ace of cups here so someone is wanting to um to definitely extend themselves to you. But again, you're in that energy of wanting to kind of block block that at the moment. So this is a this is like a 
this is a big emotional offer. This is someone opening their heart to you. This is someone coming through with a very helpful energy, wanting to really connect with you. This is someone with very, very loving feelings towards you. Sometimes this can be a, a card of um, pregnancy or conception. So be careful there if, if you're not wanting that. Um, but this is sort of the creation of something new, some new loving energy, new loving connection. Someone's really wanting to extend themselves to you, Saji. This is... This is usually a very um, a positive card. It's not like it's something that is um, is not real. This is a real offer. Someone has real feelings for you, but you're just not um, you're just not being receptive to it. It's possible that some of you are a little bit too focused on a past situation or something that happened um, maybe between you and this person in the past and that's causing this sort of blockage but for some reason you are not op open to this you are not open to this um, at the moment what else what else for Sagittarius? what else in the energy surrounding you Hierophant, Taurus energy. Yeah, this is um I mean I have to say, this is this is a big commitment. This is someone who really has um not only the loving romantic feelings for you guys, but this is someone who is definitely wanting some kind of higher level of commitment. This is someone who um is very traditional though. For some of you, it's like this could be this could be like the person or the match that makes sense. Like this is the type of person who would, you know, who you could introduce to your parents or your family or your friends, someone who would make sense for you to be with. Like it's a very it's a very traditional type of type of person. This person wants to go about things the right way, which is nice. But again, you're not really being open to it. And maybe for some reason, just because something makes sense and seems like a very good opportunity and a very good love offer doesn't necessarily mean it's the right thing for you. And sometimes you have to go within and listen to that inner judgment that inner knowing and make a call about whether or not this is something you want to accept but this is very very strong loving committed you know committal sort of energy so um, for those of you wanting that I think that you know this person this energy surrounding you it seems very very legit but yeah there's a um there's just a rejection on your side of, of that offer for some reason. Maybe it's maybe it's something that's too traditional, but it's not kind of it's not kind of satisfying your your deeper wants, needs, desires. Maybe you're having to make a decision. Maybe this is maybe this is not even new. Maybe this is someone who you've um, for some of you who you've been with for a while or you know you've known for a while and they're wanting to take that next step. They're wanting to um, move towards that higher level of commitment but you're just not sure you're just not sure about it maybe this person has even proposed or spoken about marriage or spoken about moving in together or whatever the case may be taking things to the next level and you're needing to just really pull back your energy just take your time and think about it guys we've got the sun here in the outcome that's beautiful um so don't worry too much about this, um, Sagis. The outcome is going to be um, a happy one. We've got some very, very positive cards here. I think you guys need to just take some time out and think about what it is that you truly want because happiness, whatever you decide, um, the sun is your outcome. Just be careful because we do have two cards of you know fertility, growth, pregnancy, expansion. So just be careful again if that's not something that you're wanting. But for those of you who are... Um, who are trying to get pregnant or wanting pre a pregnancy this this is a very good um, very good omen here with the sun and the ace of cups that combination 
that was too many that um, fell on the floor then so we're not going to pick those up uh, what else what else in the outcome of this situation for Saggy so I don't know which way you guys are going to go but happiness is coming so that's nice in the outcome for my saggies what else we've got the strength card here leo energy so both major arcana so whatever this connection is it is very significant i feel for the both of you i think whoever's around you um maybe both of you are having to show some real inner strength in this situation because again there's some sort of hesitation on your part saggies and sometimes the energy is vice versa but i don't really like vice versa energy you know i read it as as they come out for a reason we don't want to get the messages too confused otherwise it just it can sort of bamboozle people but i feel as though um the person you're dealing with is having to show a, a real sort of show of inner strength we've got two cards of leo here so strong leo um energy could be dealing with a leo um, or someone with strong Leo in their chart. But either way, this person is having to show a lot of strength in the situation because for some reason, um, you are not 100% ready to commit to them, but you might still be finding a lot of happiness with this person. Maybe it just needs to be something a little bit less traditional you know this person wants to do things in a very traditional fashion this person is someone who is very like by the book like this is how we're going to do it in a step-by-step -step process one thing follows the other whereas you might be thinking you know what that's not actually the way I want to do things I want to I want to do things a little bit differently why do we have to be so traditional why do we have to do things by the norm why do we have to do what other people want there's there's a different there's a different way of going about things. I feel like you are still finding happiness with this person, but um, you may need to f need to come to some kind of a compromise to get there. But you're going to shine by the end of February, which I absolutely love. I think there is going to be um, there may be a little bit of opposition with this person. I'm not going to lie because I feel like the two of you are very very strong individuals, and you're. Um, you're going to maintain your your positions and your opinions very strongly. But ultimately, I do see success for you here with that sun energy. So whatever it is that you're trying to achieve, and again, maybe it's just a different way of going about things. Sagis, I think you are going to be successful in that. Any final messages, any um, final words of advice or positive affirmations, anything else that Sagis can use here for the month of February? Yeah, Sajis, if it's a, if it's a commitment that you're after from this person, that's definitely on the table. That is definitely on the table. Maybe it's almost like once you once you get the thing that you really that you really think you want, you sort of don't want it anymore. It's like you've had to take a step back and think, "Hang on a second, I thought I wanted that, but um now that it's actually come through, is that actually what I what I want?" It's always the case where we're not sure or we want what we don't have sometimes. So any final advice? We've got the tower. Wow. Yeah, major shakeup. Some sort of major shakeup is going to happen here. Um, I feel as though it is more on your person's side. Your person's going to be a little bit disappointed, maybe a little bit shocked by, by what comes through. But the tower is inevitable. This is inevitable change. And maybe this person had their head in, their sand, in the sand a little bit about what it is that you wanted and what... Um, what you desired and how you were going to express that and maybe they just kind of thought you were on exactly the same page as them but they weren't really listening um to what you wanted or they weren't really aware of what you wanted so i think whatever you're going to tell this person about how you want things to go it is going to come as quite a bit of a shock to them it's going to be a bit of a tower moment they're not expecting it at all they're not expecting it but this is you i feel kind of shaking things up and again wanting to do things in maybe a less traditional kind of way um but again i, I see i see a lot of success here and i see a lot of happiness so i think whatever this this shake up is it needs to happen and it's going to result in quite a positive outcome so trust your gut um trust your inner knowing here with that judgment card and at the end of the day i think happiness is is coming in by the end of the month so i hope you enjoyed that reading guys if you did don't forget to like and subscribe thank you again for watching hope to see you all in the next video